Hi, welcome to Passion for Plants. My name is Hannah, and in this video, I'm talking about my experience with chip drop. So if you've never heard of chip drop, it is free wood chips from your area that local arborists uh, cut down trees, they grind them up, and then they are delivered to your house all for free. So I had heard about this from a friend, and um, so I gave it a try. What you have to do is you go online to their website, you sign up, you can say if you want full logs, you can get full logs. Um, you can say if you want to exclude any trees. So I said no olive trees because I'm allergic to olive trees. Trees. So you can type in your specialties, you send a picture of exactly where you want them to drop it off because a lot of times they're not, uh, they drop it off when you're not home, which was the case for us. So I, you take a picture and then I said, you know, in this area. Um, so you send it in and then you don't know when you're gonna get the wood chips. So ours ended up taking close to a month to get them, which is fine, we weren't in a rush. We weren't home when it was delivered and um, it was delivered and the minimum amount you can get is 10 cubic yards, which is a lot. Uh, when I was thinking about it, I thought, okay, a truckload, that's good, I could do all my planters, I have a lot of space to do, my parents I'm sure could use some. So I justified it um, thinking, you know, it's free wood chips to, you know, make a mulch and so that w weeds won't grow. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. Here's a video of the amount that we had when it was first delivered when we got home and it is probably close to my height so it's maybe five feet tall and i don't even know how wide it is 15 feet wide and it is dense it's thick so we started putting it all back through our backyard um and we hardly made a dent you know if you have a huge yard and you need to cover the entire surface area then maybe it'll work for you um, but then my parents took bags and bags and bags and bags and it still wasn't enough I mean you know hindsight 2020 we would have done it differently um, but again just so that you guys are aware it's a lot um, so be aware of that. I mean, I had to put it on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, like local Facebook pages just saying free mulch, come pick it up because I had called my trash company to get one of the, um, whatever those big pod things to get it picked up and it was going to cost $700. So I wasn't going to do that. So we just filled up our neighbor's trashes. We filled up our trash. You know, this could be something like, well, duh, wouldn't you know that uh, getting a truck bed? Well, yeah, I guess you would have thought so. But I think honestly, talking to other people too, I think they might have overfilled it. Um, so anyways, we have our lesson learned. I'm hoping that anybody who watches this is maybe thinking of doing this and kind of can look at it and say mm, maybe I don't need that much or if you have like acres and acres of yard and property that you need you want to put wood chips down then this would definitely be for you but if you're just a normal home gardener like me it's better to probably skip this one so learn from my mistakes if you have any other questions I will answer them in the comments um, but it's good, I mean, if you if you need some wood chips and you have a lot of yard to do, it could work for you. So just uh, just know, know how much wood chips it is before you, you pull the trigger, which I did. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.